wondered what it would be like to escape Britain and shoot off travelling around Southeast Asia. Well, I did just that a couple of months ago. I'm your host Mel for Travel XP and I'm going to take you on an adventure of Luang Prabang in Laos. One of the best things about Luang Prabang is definitely the food. You can to fantastic cafes like this. We're sat at Novelty Cafe, which is like French cum Laotian food. So I'm just going to tuck into my breakfast there. You can come to the Luang Prabang National Museum, but don't come at 1.09 on a Monday. It's closed. And you can go on the bamboo bridge, but you have to pay. Traveling in our summer months does have its problems such as the weather. So we're now stood under this little tent, sheltering from the rain. However, it's still a fantastic time to come and it does tend to just rain for maybe, well, we're hoping right now, a couple minutes and then we can go. So we're back at the Luang Prabang National Museum, ready to go in. It looks like it's just usually closed at lunchtime, so we're gonna have a look around. So we're inside the National Museum now, just outside the palace area. It's a really nice palace and definitely worth a look but it is certainly less grand than British palaces or European palaces that we're used to. My photographer wasn't sure what I meant by less grand. This is what I mean. We've come back to Saffron Coffee, a lovely little cafe specialising in fair trade coffee and it has lots of different types of presses so we've gone for Aero Press. I'm not really sure what it is but it tastes very nice anyway. Lovely place to come and relax upstairs in the air conditioning room. I'm at, sit at the top of Mount Fuji where we've just watched the sunset. There's loads of people behind, all crowded around, watching the sun go down just behind those mountains. Fantastic thing to do in Luang Prabang. I've come to the Huangzai waterfalls, just 32 kilometres south of the city. And on the way up to the waterfall, there's this bear sanctuary. So a nice rescue centre for all these bears. You can see them playing behind us, having a whale at a time. So we've arrived at the Huangzai waterfalls. They are absolutely breathtaking. The colour of the water is unbelievable. You can see why people say it's their favourite waterfall. We're making our way to the top of the waterfall now. Up here is a non-swimming area, but it's so beautiful to observe. And lower down, you can do lots of swimming in the nice big pool. And this is what we've been waiting for. Just look at the waterfall behind me. So you walk up to here, and this is what, what you wait for, really. We've come right to the top of the Huangzai waterfalls and we've hopped on a bamboo boat to take us to the source of the waterfall. It's about a 10 minute journey and it seems pretty fun so far. I hope you enjoyed the review of Luang Prabang and that you're going to take some of my tips and visit them yourselves. Join us next time for our adventures in Vietnam.